Hey guys, welcome to The Shack, brought to you by LT Wright Knives and Woods Monkey. Check out all the cool knives over at LT Wright Knives, and check out what's going on at Woods Monkey. We've got a lot of cool stuff going on. Mikey, where can they find a podcast if they happen not to be listening? If they aren't listening, they're not going to find this podcast. <laughs> I know, but I, I don't know how else to explain that, so we got to kind of go that way. Anywhere you can find podcasts, you can find The Shack. There you go. You mean like Apple Podcasts and Spotify? All of them. Wow, we're Stitcher, big time. Are we Google, number one anywhere right Pandora. now? No, we are in the top ten in Portugal, but that is it. Okay. Hmm. Thank you, Dig Portugal, it. for making us top all ten. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah, let's keep doing that. Well, uh, Mike and I just got back from Georgia at an outdoor event, so that was a lot <laughs> of fun. But today what we're going to talk about is is uh, we were asked to go over the line of our knives and how they kind of came into existence. But before we do that, yet again, I'm LT. Scooter here, man, on the inside. I'm Tyler. So, Mikey. So I'm um, like, uh, I'm Nick. <laughs> and I'm Sam. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You keep that up, Nick. I'm turning this podcast yeah. off. <laughs> Just just so everyone gets the Don't whole Don't make me inside. turn this around and go back to radio. Be, before, before we get <laughs> We were get having on. a discussion previously about how certain people have these idiosyncrasies, and some of them are sitting at this table. Uh, he'll Not, shut off a podcast. Including uh, me. <laughs> Scott will shut off a podcast if someone goes, um, or likes so too many times. Like. So we had a discussion. We got to watch our <laughs> ums, our so's, our likes, I means... I got to be honest with you. I listen to a lot of podcasts with a lot of professional people. You'd be surprised how many of those college degree professionals say, like, um, I mean, so. What kind of professionals, Scott? (laughs) Uh, Like rocket scientists. Because those are the ones that wear the tinfoil hat. Gotcha. Honest. Honest. Just the other day while I was driving my rocket, I was like, um, you know. Hey, uh, quick story. When I worked at Fisher Scientific and I was a scientist. (laughs) Then in a no. podcast, then. Ah, oh, you're funny. <laughs> we have so we, evolved. So we are going okay. to talk about our knives today, and we're going to get into that right after. Did we introduce ourselves already? Oh, man, yes, wow, we did. I'm that's gonna, what I'm started little... this whole... Okay. We did. Well, that's, yeah, that's right. Madness. Nick screwed me up. Right. <laughs> so, Nick, so we, way to go. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you guys are going to kill us. <laughs> it's not in Valley You're going to make thing it thing the worst. Scott won't even listen to his own podcast. <laughs> not this one. He started it. Yeah. Did, well, in all fairness, he did. I know. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, first Let's time. talk about some, some designs. The current offering on the website, we just have redone it after uh, a few years of it being the same, right? It, yes. was, it was relatively the same for a while. So coming into 2022, we decided to change it up, kind of streamline it a little bit. And some of that is due to our backlog, and we want to make sure that we can get stuff out on time as best we can so we we did pare it down a little bit so we're going to go over it and talk to you guys about how certain things came about and the best way to start is with a number one and that's the genesis that was the, the first knife out of the box remember mm-hmm. we sat there oh, and i have pictures january 2014 is that when it was okay so that's uh <clears throat> we came right out with the genesis uh based on a lot of input over the years of making knives and doing different things Yes. You know, loosely based on, and I can give you from my side of things, you guys can all talk about it too, but the genesis in my mind was loosely based upon that herder's catalog knife that I first got when I was a kid from my dad. If you look at that, and I think you've guys seen it, there's a lot of semblance in there, resemblance in there of the, some of the aspects of the genesis. Well, in the blind horse days, the Woodsman Pro, again, was loosely based on that herder's catalog knife from years and years ago mm-hmm. but it was different so after having all the years of making knives going through the woodsman pro playing with that herder's knife as a kid the genesis kind of really involved and, and listening to bushcrafters over the years yeah you know broomstick style handle and contoured <clears throat> handle there was a couple that really stuck out for that style of knife and going with the broomstick on the genesis and even into the thumb scallops you know, that came from a lot of input over the years of people just saying, hey, can you put thumb scallops on your this, your bushcrafter, on your GNS, whatever. So it just became a standard thing on that knife is, is where we went. Still having the squared off spine, but on this particular knife, we decided to up 
the level of polish on the Scandi because we wanted this to be our flagship, and it has worked. We're building a, an incredible knife. That's kind of my gut on like how the Genesis come about. And I know each one of you guys, we all kind of, I don't know, just kind of it morphed into what it is. I don't know how to other yeah. explain it. It was now. designed by committee. It's quite similar to the original. I will tell you this part. If you happen to be cruising eBay, let's say, and you see one on there, you can tell that it was from the very first run of those because it only has two fisheye bolts, not three. It'll have really nice-looking desert ironwood, and it will hopefully still have the autographed box that everybody signed. And the PT stamp. And the PT stamp, yeah. Oh, how many it. did we build the first? 100, 100 Scandi, first and 100 flat. And we actually call them the two-bolt Genesis. Yes, because after that, that was it. Yeah. We quit that. Just we to three. designate an original. Did it have the PT or Lim I think LE? It had a PT stamp. Yeah, I think it did. Okay, yeah. maybe PT. Were those all Scandi? Or <clears throat> did we do? The first 100 were Scandi. Okay. Yeah, and then, then we did, then we when we released the flat, we also did a run of 100 PT stamp, two bolt, Desert Ironwood really? flat. So, yeah, it's good I remember I the Scandi think, for yeah, sure. Can, no, that no, was. No. Oh, it was a while ago now. I mean, you remember that knife coming together, right? <laughs> oh, it was fantastic. Yeah, I can remember. I building. remember a lot of little detailed things about that knife that I am not going to say in this public podcast. <clears throat> However, the the history of it coming together it w was important. I took as many pictures as I could because I knew I wouldn't remember the dates or anything like that. So I just look on the phone for the pictures as long as I have a rough idea of when it was. I have a picture of you sitting at your desk holding up the very first one we finished. I remember paper testing the first one that we finished buffed after, I don't know who ground it. Did you grind it? No. no. Did it you grind it? Justin. No. Oh, okay, yeah. You weren't even here, huh? No, that, that was <laughs> pre-me. <Sorry. Yeah. laughs> Pre-me, right. okay. Well, still, quite the knife. Oh, yeah, Just absolutely. The whole the, the package, the desert ironwood that we got picked out, uh, the liners, the... Uh, no liners. No liners? No liners. Yeah, really? No See, no I'd have lost that bet. I'd have to look at my dang photos. <laughs> That's why I... No, and those blades, actually, I remember, and there's still pictures uh, of them out there that had a little bit of a recurve in the Scandi because we hadn't quite dialed in the process the way we wanted yet. And it, it was no functional problem, no, but it's, it, it's just something that you can definitely notice where now we have a very straight section where, it, you know, the blade comes into the handle. Well, okay. we have even... <clears throat> From the early, early days, man, you can tell the difference. The knives we're putting out today are just absolutely above board. They are killer. Not and and again, taking nothing from those because oh, they're fantastic. Oh, they were. I remember. They started remember out good and got great. Yeah, exactly. We really nailed it, and I'm super excited. That, about that. progression of and I don't even grind them because I'm not that good. The progression of the Scandi that you've mainly done, I think, now up you know up to now. Right. The pronghorn, just to throw that little motto out, that's the only knife I've ever cut myself on. I had to go get stitches. <laughs> that's how sharp those are. Yeah. Coming off the buffer wheel, I um, zigged when I should have zagged, and I sliced into my left, one of my fingers on my left hand. <laughs> yeah. No, Sammy definitely has that sharp. Scandi dialed in tight up against the handle, everything. Yep, yep. We are nailing it right now. I can, Down to the polish. I can still remember being scared to death, sharpening my first Scandi, worried I was going to mess it up. How things have changed since. You mean on the air weight? No, thing? even in a jig. I was oh, so oh, concerned okay. when I ground my oh, first oh, one ground, okay, gotcha. that I was going to screw it up. Yeah. And the way things have changed over the seven years I've been here is just now it's incredible. It really. sometimes. Now I, can, I feel like I can close my eyes and do it. Yeah. I, well, that's you how do I have feel like sharpen. 100,000 under your belt. <laughs> this is yeah, true. That helps. And, and that knife has been so well received in the industry. Yeah. We're so <clears throat> yeah. blessed to I have was that going on. Genuinely surprised when I got to see one of the original Horace Kephart knives. Uh -huh. How close it resembles that when we never no, used that, that as an example. Yeah, that wasn't even in my memory bank. Uh, because honestly, if, if anything, it was that Herder's knife. Yeah. I, on, I think it's a combination of the Herder's Knife and the um, Woodsman Pro, which, mm -hmm. again, kind of loosely was based upon that when I sat down and sketched that. 
to start with two. Yeah. And I think, if I remember correctly, the Woodsman Pro came out of, we were at a gun show, Dan and I, years ago at Blind Horse, and we drew up the Woodsman Pro and I think the Maverick Scout that weekend, and I think we were at like at the Chantilly Gun Show or the Indiana Gun Show, I remember that. And that would, again, loose sketches, you know, and then we fine-tuned everything. But, but being basically off of, well, the Maverick Scout was based on a, a butcher knife of my mother's, and the Woodsman Pro was loosely based upon that herder's knife, you know, trying to do it from memory in my mind. And then got where it's at. At some point in time, we're going to have to make an exact copy of that herder's knife. Because we reference it all the time. I brought it in for you guys to see, what, a couple months ago, remember? I don't remember that. Uh, I don't remember. pull the knives in from my house. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I remember that. It had the herder's knife in it. I don't don't think you specifically said said that. You you never said what it was. Well, I'm going to have to do that again. Yeah, I, keep, I, I still have the, the knife, not yeah. a copy of it. I have the one that my dad gave me. Yeah, that's cool. So the Genesis, I mean, you got anything else you want to I mean, It was such a great package. That's so popular. We have all these variations of it out there in the world, one-offs and flats and sabers and <clears throat> fantastic stuff out there. There's a lot of choices. Might yeah. not be a ton of them in stock at the moment, but there's a lot of them yeah. out in the world. It's <laughs> one of the few true. knives that we've made in... Every steel and every grind. We probably have at least touched on it. Yeah. I know we did some convex and ABL. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. We actually, were, matter of fact, just saw one yesterday in 01. Literally yeah. one. Hmm. That was because it would had laser on it. And uh, oh. CPM 3B. We I don't didn't think we've it. ever gotten too crazy fancy, though, with it. Yeah, we did. No, no, no. no we didn't. We, yeah, we didn't make a like bunch a, of them. But it'd be cool to do it, it in uh, S35VN or... Like anyway, a, even a an steel, M4 steel of the month be club fantastic. genesis night. That'd be cool. We'll take we'll uh, subscriptions. We had a fifty-two one hundred version. Yes, we sort did. Of yeah. 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 I forgot about that one. And They're we did that rats. hundred yeah. run of O one knives for Bushcraft USA. That did yeah. not genesis? have thumb scallops. Yeah, genesis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was weird yeah. to see oh, it without a thumb scallop. Yeah. Sometimes things blur to me, and people they say, "How long you been making knives?" They're like, "A long time," because. When you look at the very first time, it's, it's hard to tell the date. Because when you're doing it, you don't think about it. Even for the Genesis, I can't tell you the dates because I don't think about it. January it is something people are interested in. I, I get asked pictures. about it all the time. Well, well, I know you have it, but I, I don't. I'm just like, I don't know. We drew it on this Friday. I'm going to show you everyone watching this podcast. Yeah. Hang on to your shorts. I'm going to show you one. <laughs> anyway, Tyler, what do you, you got any thoughts about the Genesis? You've been handling them for a while. Yeah. I mean, I I like the Genesis. Uh, they're, uh, I I mean, I prefer the next gen because I got smaller hands, but the Genesis is still pretty good. I like it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, we can talk about the family numbering of the system, where the next gen was next, and then the mm-hmm. Gen three was the third one. But then the Gen 6 was actually the 6th one, but the Gen 5 was the 7th. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gen 5 is my favorite, though. Wow, that was a Here's, lot of... And it was accurate. Around. Here's it was eight of them, on, and this is January 13, 2014. Okay. Two Bolt Desert Iron Wood. Those look great. Don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I remember when that order of Desert Iron no Wood liners. came in, and I was, like, <laughs> guarding that box with yeah. my life. One, two, no, three, the four, Genesis. Five, six, Do you remember how it got its name? Yes. Who knows? I know. Yeah, from the Bible. Uh, first knife, first one, right? In the but beginning. I mean, how it was proposed and oh. everything. Okay. okay. What is it, Mike? It was the Genesis. It was the beginning. Well, that's what I just said. Yeah. But do, you right rem- do you remember the story or not? Yeah, like, I suggested it. That's what I'm saying. Do you remember coming into the office and Seems he said to me, he said, "Just tell the story." <laughs> <laughs> wow, he is being like okay. he wants to get to wow. his part. No, I don't know. Just yeah, just, just tell keep, the story. Keep it's drinking story. your sparkling water. I will. <laughs> uh, Mike came into office. He says, "You know, because we were searching for a name, and I, I'm not even sure what was on deck at the time." Uh, we had a bunch. I don't of remember. Stuff. Yeah, we had a bunch of stuff we were talking about. He goes, I don't know. "You sign your emails. God bless. You talk about." being a Christian and, and all this, he says, what better can you do than go with the very first book of the Bible, the Genesis? 
And I went, I agree. Um, yeah. He said, the first knife Very good. from the, the company reboot and everything, I was like, right on, let's do it. So I nailed it, and I've not regretted it a bit. So that's kind of where that came from. So it, I remember him coming in and saying that to me. He's like, you, I think it needs to be this. Those were like one of my five home runs. <laughs> oh, you have five? Yeah, I think uh, I have five. If he would have said three, I'd have probably agreed. Let's not yeah. dive into Mike's numbers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he just math. I got five. five He's like, runs. I got five holding up three. Five fingers. out of four people <laughs> saying math is hard. <laughs> so out of that genesis, though, we've had a, a few things coming out here. And, and uh, wait, sorry, right, January seventh, twenty fourteen. Here we are signing all the boxes. There was a uh, lot of boxes. Right some of them, or some of us. <clears throat> Look at Nick's haircut. Yeah, it looks like today. Did Scott have more pretty, hair back then? Pretty similar. Oh. No. No, he's never had more hair than that. Well, he was born this way. I had more when I was 12. No, he didn't. <clears throat> I saw his high school pictures. He, no, he did. No. Yeah, that was a wig. wig. <laughs> <laughs> so the Genesis has come a long <laughs> way. Scott just snorted coffee. Uh, but <laughs> I, I think one of the things, you know. It was a wig. <laughs> those. those are you done? Can I get back to the Genesis? <laughs> You're making me so, choke over so here. So getting back to the Genesis, we had Larry Roberts and Carly Fairchild. Notably, there were, there were others, carry our knives on a national TV show called Alone. So mm-hmm. we, right, we, we <clears throat> yep. know that. Now, the, the coolest part about this little bit of the story is we did not know either one of them personally before they took the knives. They didn't call and say, hey, I'm going to go on this TV show. Can I have one of your knives? There was no solicitation whatsoever. They literally bought the knives and went on the show. Now, I had known of Larry Roberts from his YouTube stuff. I think I might have watched him doing some batoning and stuff and and maybe even been using the Genesis or one of our other knives. I don't remember. So I kind of knew the name. But as you know, on the Pout House, those guys keep track of this stuff and that's how I found oh, out yeah. <clears throat> that our Genesis well, David were being Anderson used to do that, like in David and article. Jonathan Burton. Uh, yeah, Jonathan, I, David I too. David yeah, too. That was okay. back in Truth About Knives days. Oh yeah, way back then too. Yeah. But I, that's Rest how I piece. found out was yeah, through that. Custom. So yeah. we kind of went in from the other side of this. So you, what happened after we noticed that? We simply reached out to them in an email and thanked them for carrying our knives on the show and. Hey, if there's anything we can do for you in the future, let us know. Became good friends with both Larry Roberts and Carly Fairchild. Matter of fact, just spent the weekend with them, <clears throat> both of them. That was very, very cool. So, um, and we've been working with them. So there is a Larry Roberts signature Genesis with yep. the mouse that terrorized him. That's his logo. Uh, nice, nice black nice. with light, white liners. And yep. then Carly Fairchild signature Genesis with her saying never give up on it carly that's a flat ground one yeah and that was a flat ground one so she offers them actually in both flat and saber yeah i'm sorry not scandy Scandy. flat and scandy yeah and larry has the um scandy grind now since he's got back from the show that's how the gen 6 was developed correct because he came and said hey lt i really love this great boy if i could have a six inch blade i think i can do a whole lot more with it and i can remember specifically talking with larry he's like larry we haven't built anything in this steel in this grind you know in this configuration six inches long you have to promise me that you're going to test this knife and we even talked about this around the campfire this weekend when he was telling the story and it was funny because he goes i can remember lt he was so adamant about larry don't don't go anywhere until you put time on this knife. And he had it for quite a while before we okayed it. And then I remember one day he sent me a picture of having the six inch Genesis stuck in a frozen log and it was bent. And he continued to baton it through and it just popped back right out to shape. And he said, right then I knew it's good to go. I wanted you to see this picture. And that's when we started building them. And he took that knife to Mongolia Mm -hmm. on that adventure. So there's where the Carly Fairchild Genesis and Larry Roberts Genesis both came into effect. I remember when Larry sent his back from his first Mm. stint on a loan, and it still smelled like fish, like six months out of it. And smoky fire. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little rough. 
He brought it to the Blade Show that one year also. Yeah. Yes, he yeah. did. Yeah, I think actually that was they both cool. had their knives with them this weekend. He right? had his Gen 6 he had from his Gen Mongolia, 6. and yeah. Carly had her She had her, Genesis. the one from, well, actually, I think she used it on both. Yeah. Yeah, she had it there because that's the one that cool. she had was digging at the fish hook one yeah. on season two. We're gonna have to get both Larry and Carly on the podcast. They're great people to talk to <clears> at the I same think, time, uh, and I That'd think these fun. guys would yeah. uh, enjoy listening to those stories too. Oh, so they're great people point. to talk to too. But we've we've done Genesis. <laughs> people have adapted that and put their own logo on it. There are a few companies, and we'll talk about dealer knives maybe in a future episode. But we have to get through these, and we just now got started. Mikey, do you have anything else about the Genesis to say? Good, bad, and different? Uh, it's just funny to me the evolution that we've gone through. Um, remembering those knives, and every so often you get to see one, and you look at it, and now we, I kind of cringe, just like, ooh, wow, that's a little rougher than I remember. But I think that just speaks to the evolution that everyone on, on gathered around this table has gone through. We've all gotten worlds better since we made those knives. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to say we didn't have quality control. We always tried to put out the best knife. But we've just got better at our mm -hmm. skill set, number one, and we've just been pushing the game. I, realistically, week to week, mm -hmm. we push it harder and harder and harder, and we are building a fantastic product right now. Nick, what do you got to say about Genesis? Um, not too much really that hasn't been covered. I think you went over it all really good there. Uh, I will say, and I, like I said earlier, that the five is my favorite configuration of that knife for like my personal use. Um, but yeah, beyond that, it pretty much speaks for itself and, and its reputation going places on and, you know, being on shows like that. You couldn't ask much more. I used to be a hardcore GNS fan, Mike. Uh, and hopefully we talk about that in a little while. But uh, when we did the five, that sort of changed the game for me. So that's my knife now. And apparently Nick hadn't looked at the website today because the Gen 5 is not retired. But they are out there. They are out there. <laughs> and you never know. We do special <laughs> runs now and then. Just get a Gen I agree. The 5 is a great knife. knife. There's no doubt. It is a great knife. Sammy? I can remember always struggling sharpening the Genesis. And then the Gen 6 came along. And I thought, how am I going to keep a straight line for that length of distance? <laughs> or your fingers when you're polishing it. Mm -hmm. But I'll say having, having to figure that out really made the Genesis Scandies come that much farther. And I really think I figured out how to make the best looking grind we've done thus far. Oh, absolutely. And they are amazingly sharp. They're fantastic. Oh, yeah. They are fantastic. No, so I can't. I mean, I still have my original one, and I love that. And it's like, should I upgrade to one of our newer ones? Like, ah, maybe I'll just get two. I, don't know. I, I think you can swing it, buddy. One. Yeah, we'll see. I'll check. I know a guy I'll probably hook you. <laughs> yeah. Up. yeah, yeah. So moving on from the Genesis, the next thing that we did was actually the next gen. Yes. We're going to back into the GNS because it was kind of pre that, but the next gen was the next gen. Mm -hmm. It's a smaller knife. Yep. It's a uh, blade probably about what three and a half. Yeah. Three, three like and that. a half. Smaller it is blade, more, smaller handle. Yeah, it, it's for us. Uh, I guess we just needed like a smaller person knife, maybe for a, a young adult or for a smaller framed lady or yeah. something yeah. like that. For, or if Tyler. you didn't want to lighter to, to a full <laughs> blown. <laughs> I, I do. Now, actually, I the next gen for me, uh, I carry in a flat. That's my game knife. You know, it still has a big enough handle. Because I have a tendency to have my hands cold, and I have a tendency I haven't been hunting in a while, so it doesn't matter anyway. But that's what I would be using for a game knife as my next gen. So I, I do and doesn't there one strap to your... Uh, it's a, oh, yeah, on my kayak. Yeah, yeah, kayak. yeah. On my PDF, PDF, PFD. 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 I couldn't think of the letters. That's why I stopped and made you do it. <laughs> it's like, you know that thing you wear? Keeps the thing you float. wear when you're in the kayak. Your floaty yeah. vest. Yeah, actually, that's an A-bill... AEBL one in um, line, uh, toxic green, yeah, I like it a lot. So that that's very cool. Next gen is a nice size knife if you haven't handled it. For sure, it's the lighter, smaller little brother. It's an excellent knife. I've built a zillion of them, or helped, or sharpened. 
I think I've owned one or two of them here. There, knives come and go in my little collection. I always like the Bush Baby. It's still full tang knife, something you can use on a fire steel. Plenty of blade to do what you need to do. So the next gen fits the bill. If you like a Bush Baby, you should try a next gen. Wow. Kind of similar. Uh, big difference at broomstick handle on a Bush Baby, thumb scallops on a next gen, sometimes thinner. Uh, scales and there has even been the skinny jenny right the 330 seconds uh we on did the next a few gen? of those yeah, yeah. yeah we did yeah i actually just, we did 330 second convex uh, there's some of those out there i just there's some more build rare. a couple or tyler's gonna build them but i put the scales together for yeah. two that elaine had in the office okay so, yeah there's some interesting pieces out there from time to time yep. you just gotta look for them I have seen stuff on eBay and on the Pout House forum every now and then. Insert Pout House plug here. Yeah, yes, about go to say, ahead. if you really want to yeah, experiment to with uh, your Genesis. <clears throat> go to the website, look on the Pout House, click on that link. It's 25 bucks a year to join, and there are numerous, numerous perks. And one of them is finding cool knives that are not offered to the general public. Oh, yeah. In fact, if you missed out buying one of those first 100 Scandi 2 Bolt Desert Ironwood Genesis, that's because the Pot House bought every single one of them. <laughs> yeah. Every now and then, something old and cool, but and they go fast. Well, Caleb, oh, didn't sure. he say he just put up knives yesterday? Yeah. Where, and they sold in, what, eight minutes or well, something? Well, one did. Key stamp. Then, yeah, the other stamp. day, uh, uh, one of the members put up a Dirty Brookie. Mm-hmm. That was another limited run that we did. Uh, very limited very desirable and right. i think it sold in literally 80 seconds or wow. no 50 <laughs> seconds that's what it was yeah it was under <clears throat> and that's without so, yeah. people knowing it's going up for sale yeah, like somebody just, just people watching watching for a notification on their phone that you yeah. know mm-hmm. someone put up for sale and yeah so they never know what might pop up the for sale house is a great place to get First run stuff, but also some really cool sneak peeks, stuff. and not even just our knives either, no, our, our no, swag no. and stuff, but also other manufacturers' knives and right. swag and the, gear. Those guys constantly buy so trade, yeah. especially yeah. Nick. I do, <laughs> I do like my gear. It's right a great on. place and great guys to be with on there. No doubt, <clears throat> Tyler. What do you got to say about next gen? Well, I carry one every day. I use it for my everyday carry. Uh, I love the next gens. Uh, I used to live on a farm with my in-laws and uh the next gen did everything that i needed to do cut bale string uh feed stacks and everything else good deal i mean i use it every day cool we had a long struggle picking the buckeye burl that went on his knife yeah, well, I, I'm picky. That's, oh. that's all that is. Struggle in what sense? It, we had to find, over the, to find the right piece of wood. Thing. Yeah. I'm with you. One of the perks of working here. Yeah, you get to pick it. Mikey, what do you got to say? Next Gen's is not a knife that I have not I have not spent a lot of time with that. I've built a bunch of them, but it's just not something that personally appeals to me because it's way too small for my hands. Mike has catcher's I mats for gloves catcher's and mitts. hands. <laughs> He's like, I don't see the knife anymore. <laughs> okay. Good deal. Little knife. Nick? I unfortunately fall into the same category as Mikey there with the, the catcher mitts. I think you call them bear paws mostly, though. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, um, I do like the next gen. I love uh, finishing them, and I do think that they're quite a nice knife. Uh, but, yeah, just a little too tiny for me to drive. Gotcha. Sammy. I also have a next gen on my, what did we decide it was? PFD. P- PFD, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Little personal flotation device. I think flat grind ABL. I'll be honest, I haven't used it a whole lot. It just kind of lives on my personal flotation device. There if you need it. It is. Right. It'd be fun to do like a, uh, a kayaker edition in LC200N or like a Vanek super clean steel that could never rust. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Skeleton mm-hmm. handle or bright thin. yellow? I think, or bright I think green just thin, or, but yeah. textured. Like thin, a, textured, grippy. Yeah. Kydex, of course. Yeah. 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 Some drill yeah. water holes. Yeah. Uh, I think, clip on it yeah. is on yeah. mine. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we, we just designed a new thing. That will be coming out soon. Check your local. The business. kayaker. Yeah. LC200N is a, for those of you that work in damp environments or water all the time or anywhere there is rust is a real problem. That is a killer steel. Or like me and yeah. don't really oil things when you're done yeah. with it. 
And if you're going to, I'll tell you, if, if you just heard that and you're heading over to our website to see what we offer in that, yeah, we don't have any. It's not there yet. Well, <laughs> yeah, no we just Mike's came up with it. Know. We're not that fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got there that. are a dozen choices on there. I know. And there's there's plenty. Ones. And right, one right. choice is a four-pack of choices, so. The, the kitchen set. Okay. I, like, wow. well, I, I counted that as one. one. I, I was going to think. You need a four-pack of next-gen? There you go. Yeah, four-pack of next-gen. You can gen. have a four-pack well, of next-gen. You get your, go to, or your Sunday go-to-meet in next-gen, your water next-gen, your kitchen next-gen. Tuxedo gen. black. Yeah. Right on. So the GNS is up next. The GNS uh, came about. Mikey designed it. I named it. Sort of, kind of, right? Well, it was a group back. Yeah, yeah, I it was Somebody it was it. a it was a monthly special when it first started back yeah. in the blind oh, horse oh, days. Oh, oh, oh. You might just pass it over to Mike. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, LT. Yeah, well, I was, was going to tell the kitchen table there. story. Oh, go ahead. I was there. I don't know. But I it went like went. this. Da 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 da. Make this. <laughs> no, not quite. But I mean, it was like this is what we got to have. Blah blah blah. I don't remember it. I'll let you yes. go. That's All why right. I, I should never do podcasts because I don't remember either. Some of the answers. I know. It's just like, well, it, it started it, out work. as the magazine know. knife right. called the self reliant. Oh, that's where he was going. To. I figured that you are so. correct. You and started drawing something, and you said, "What do you think?" And I said, "I, I like this, and this, and this." And then you kept modifying it, and then we started selling them for the magazine and then we decided to make it a monthly special but we took out all the fancy one orange one yellow liner yeah oh, your ebay when, clues to oh, that, that knife so is a irritating. tripod stamp yeah. campfire and two different colored liners right those are very i bet there's less than 200 oh yeah you think and there were 12 that had the paracord guy. <laughs> no, he's holding up two fingers saying 12. <laughs> you guys have no idea how bad it math is. Ten and is. two. Oh, we didn't oh, see the so left now hand. now it's five and two. Ah, yeah. it's seven. Okay. You know, there's 12. Right. There are 12 Mike with the paracord do so guy the math. lanyard saying, that matched. Ah. Okay, so there you go. 12 with Ta-da. the paracord guy lanyard that matched. Yeah. I can't so, say that I've ever seen one of the SRIs in I'm person. I'm telling you what, really? they were really cool. Never? They were a good looking so. knife. Oh, wow. oh, yeah. Yeah. Natural they were, micarta, they were, two those color were liners. Too, right? Those were such a pain yeah. to build, though, because invariably you would drill them. You'd look down and be like, yep, I put the orange on the wrong side and the yellow on the wrong side, and you'd have to <laughs> yeah. do it again. Yeah, they were a bit of a pain. And then it morphed into, into the, the Scott GNS. named Go No Show. Yes. And yes. we shortened it to GNS. Because it had no fancy liners. Right. It was all about go and not show. And yep. that's when it was the monthly, monthly special, special for a month during Think the blind horse. sleeper drag car. And then it just was so popular, we never stopped Stop making it. And to this weird. day, it's still, we make a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Well, we sold yes. over 500, I think, when we did the monthly special. It oh, was it was a lot. I think seven. it was close to seven. It was honestly. over seven. Was it? Wow. Yeah, it was okay. almost 700 knives. Yeah. And that was just, that's back in the early website yeah, days we, and everything. Yeah, because we, we, we capped it at like 200 price, or though, something, sure. and it sold out in an hour, and you're like, well, just we let cannot, it run. Yeah, we can't, <clears> because we got so much hate mail from when we did that with the Negative feedback. From the Woodsman Pro, because we uh, shut it down. Oh, I remember <laughs> and they were like, "You can't do that." It was like, well, I just got home from work we? and I had sold out. What are you? What are you doing? Yeah, like? what are you doing? And we opened it up, and I think it climbed to five or six or high sixes. I, yeah, it was good. And then the GNS just went through the roof. It was amazing. Didn't the boat tail do that too? Yeah, but we we did we sold out. No, that was still even earlier on. Pig. Yeah. No, well, no, no early tail. on on a bow tail, it was one of oh, those yeah. knives. Mm-hmm. And we may have been thinking we were targeting 100, and we were going we to be sitting on 50 of these. We had to do like, a second Psh-ch-ch. run. Yeah, yeah we did. Right? Yeah. Yeah. First right. run had the little pin. I think we did 100 in the first like run, and then the second run we changed it out. We changed the hardware so you could tell by looking at yeah, it. Yeah, maybe it, it was, was pins, pins first, first, and then, and then bolts. bolts second, yeah. Something like that. Right. But that was There's your eBay clues for your first run bow tail. But the GNS There's again, a knife that's on the another worldwide yeah. loved knife. It's oh, in a GNS book in Germany. Yep. In German, uh, that was interesting. We have a, we actually have a copy of the book. The guy uses it as his knife that's, in his. Hey, that's cool. And all, but book. the Genesis is etched on a man's back in permanent ink. Well, that's true too. You're right. Yeah, that's, that's so that's a that's tattoo. even cooler. This is true. Yes, the GNS. Uh, it really did come together. I wish, you know, because you always. 
hindsight yeah. 2020 thing. I would love, we could have had the best reality show back in the days of being Designing at my house. The kitchen things. table. The kitchen table, oh, which yeah. we're sitting at right now. That is, yes. <laughs> that is funny. This is the same table. It, but it's do you remember, just to go through what we went through and make happen <clears throat> the way we did with limited everything at that we time. We were just Literally talking working about from stunt the knives this weekend. Yeah. I still have some uh, stunt knives in my drawer. Yeah, it, it, they look the part, not heat treated. I, would that not be like a number one TV show? <laughs> yeah, I am not sure. kidding you. That would have been. Cool. You guys have no idea how people it was. would have turned the noise of you running up and down the stairs oh, into a ringtone by now. <laughs> to sit there at the morning. Well, no, we didn't have morning meetings. It was like, we oh my cereal. gosh, it's yeah, May first. Yeah. yeah, we have to have oh, a too, monthly yeah. special right. by noon, right? <laughs> yeah, right? And then we just sit there. No kidding, man. Draw it up. Yeah. Find a piece of steel. Did not matter what it was. Find a piece of steel. Get that thing cut out on the old bandsaw. Mm-hmm. And then uh, get it ground. Super glue handles on. Get it prettied up for bandsaw. pictures. So we, yeah. a lot of on those early monthly special, specials, and when I mean a lot, like most of them, yes. were not. <laughs> they were all what we call stunt knives. We literally, literally just put it together for a picture. Like the Buckman. <laughs> like all of them, yeah. but that's fine. If yeah. I'm, I'm and not then after man. a while, we got into. They that. wouldn't have been watching American Chopper. Yeah. They'd have been watching us at the kitchen table. We got into the routine of we did small, <laughs> medium, <laughs> large, yeah. and then yep. instead mm-hmm. of duck duck Oh, exactly. When we did that, that's good. Kitchen table, but knife maker. Watch out, Cy. We're coming for you. <laughs> that's true. And then but we did, would film the video in your side yard in front of the tree on the our big iPhones. Tree. Yeah. I'd zip yeah. it together on the laptop, and that was good ta-da. stuff, man. The bat wing. Was it was stuff. fantastic. Oh, but the, but the GNS did come out of the self reliant, and the GNS is still a strong knife today, both in saber and scandy. We did some of those in convex too. Yep. For a while, there's some out there. That's another one that's um, been in just about every steel yeah. and every grind. and thickness. All of thickness. our standard steels right. again. Yeah. yeah. Greatly loved knife though. I mean, across the board, both the Genesis Great and knife. the GNS are tops in the bushcraft industry. I, th- I think people really like those knives a lot and gravitate to both of them. They're, they're both well received. Personal preference and a nice difference between the two. If you like thumb scallops, Genesis. You like contours and a shelf on the front to set your thumb on, which is my personal favorite. Right, GNS. GNS, and a lot of times, a lot of people don't know what you're talking about, but I, you're absolutely. Mike actually showed somebody. I saw him showing somebody at the well. Uh, weekend yeah, go yeah. over to your terrarium, pick out a GNS, yeah. Chris Wisdom, <clears throat> and you can see on the front of the scales. Instead of just putting your hand normally on the handle like on a contour, put your thumb on top of the front of the scales. Like if you're going to do a feather stick. Boy, you have awesome control. The sharpened edge is right there at your thumb. It's perfect. Yeah, Very it nice works set. out really, really good. Um, so the GNS, where are we at? Tyler, you got any thoughts on the GNS? Well, I never used to like them until I started handling them more. And I realized how actually comfortable the handle was. Because, uh... <clears throat> uh Sorry. Go ahead. Um, with the contours in the right spots and everything, it just kind of fits my hand perfect. And it's real light, and you can actually do a whole bunch of stuff with it. Uh, I, I enjoy the GNSs. It's one of my favorites, but I... Go Very biased. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I never guessed guess that. I guess it's, well like, it's like the first <laughs> night they ever asked me about. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast. Go figure. <laughs> Turn that into the best meme coming out of this shop. Uh, but, yeah, I agree. It, it's great. Nicholas, you got any thoughts on it? I do. This one, I definitely do. Uh, so for a long time. Well, I'm sorry. I'm um, so. Uh, <laughs> for a Thanks. long time, wow. I had a 3V Scandi Desert Ironwood Mosaic Pin GNS that was my Fancy. wood knife. I absolutely loved it. I beat the snot out of it, and it came through all of it just gorgeously. And I still like that knife. I, I very much do. Uh, the Gen 5 I still like a little better now. But uh, <laughs> I have since gifted that knife to a very dear friend who also loves it and uses it well so it is a great knife i'm a big fan 
Mike, that night Take has it. changed from day one too to what we're doing now. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's just uh, it's kind of, but all good stuff. I mean, mm-hmm. over the you know the old contour versus the newer contour yeah. and. Again, the gigantic oh, yeah. lanyard hole it had originally. The what? The gigantic the w, w lanyard hole. It had oh yeah, originally. that's right. We did. I Man, like that's the another w. way I you forgot can tell. That. I like the oh. W's. Yeah, that, nice. there's some out there that had a W lanyard hole, which was a bigger lanyard hole. If you don't was know, that one of the first ones was that it was that? pretty much all of Blind Horse era. Okay, they yeah. had the Buckman. The w. Yeah, if you don't right. know what that is, uh, Google drill size, and there are letters, not just numbers. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's why. We that's say what w. we refer to as a W. Huge. It, it, it was, was a good old F O and W. You could put a stick but, through there, no problem. Yeah, you could <laughs> hang this on a stick you've jammed in a tree for your cook set, or yeah, it was a, so you could I turn didn't it. Say into all my ideas are good. Just some of them. I don't care. Yeah, O is better. Tammy, you got any thoughts on GNS? The GNS is probably one of my favorite handle designs. In fact, I carry one on my mm. hunting pack, and I use it to help clean my squirrel whenever I do get those. <laughs> Dig it. He's like, whenever I do Well, get just like you, I don't have a squirrel. lot. But. <laughs> no, I got you. And someday, the general will come to be. Oh, let's not go down that rabbit hole right now. Uh, we're talking about ones that are on the website. <laughs> so the but. old, let, I'm going to skip... <laughs> Well, the small, nor- oh, large no, northern hunter. I'm not. I, northern I, I was hunters. going to because I wanted to get something else. But uh, the small northern, the small and large northern hunter, came out of having a hunting knife listed again. And the funny thing is, for yeah. you guys that know that, is I started out as a hunting knife guy in a hunting knife company. And that's what I built. The first pre blind horse, there was no LT Wright bushcraft knives. I mean, straight up, there really wasn't. I was a hunting knife company. That's what I knew. That's what I wanted to do. I was a hollow grinder. Large workhorse. Yeah, right? large workhorse, nice. whitetail classic, mm. the, the style of the Morgans, mm-hmm. things like that. It was a you know, very brass guard landed kind of direction, and, and that's awesome. what I did. Uh, yeah. But, you know, then it morphed into the bushcraft side of things. So the hunting... We wanted to keep a hunting aspect, even though we're well known in bushcraft and now kitchen very, very strongly. The hunting side was very important to me. And again, not that I hunt a ton of stuff, but that's where I started making knives. So basing the small and large northern hunter, after being poked a bunch by a few of our pout house members, um, I can remember Brian O'Neill, I think, was one of the guys that were into that basic pattern. The leaf. The, uh, the Canadian leaf belt knife yeah, sort of pattern. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I always, yeah, leaf I pattern, always yeah. enjoyed the um, the leaf pattern of the um, Canadian belt knife. Yeah. Yeah. I think you the said it, Mike. Grumman or whatever yeah. it was called. And, and that those was one of those on. things that I really liked. And then my dad was at the time going on a getting ready to go on an elk hunt, and he wanted to have a, a few knives for a couple buddies that was going with him. I'm like, oh, goodness, I don't, we don't really have any. So that's really where the large version of that came out of as i need to hurry up and get my dad a knife and i believe i made three of them might have been in d2 uh Don't full flat grinds that. maybe mm-hmm. this has been a while they were slicing, mm-hmm. i remember yeah that. they were great knives so the small northern and and the large northern came out of that desire to keep that um, hunting knife alive and since then it has morphed into a quite usable kitchen knife that mm-hmm. we've noticed everyone's kind of adapting yeah. them and a good general knife. camp yeah. Well, it's it's flat. Yeah. It's skinny. It's very very slicey with all that belly on there. It's a it's and a heck it, of a it feels good kitchen knife as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I and the small, my small sure. one all the time. Yeah. The small handle really <clears throat> hides its size really well because it fits a big hand. Yeah. Yeah. It does. I have no problem with that knife. I I, I really enjoy it. No, they're, they're they're both great. I like making them, and I I can see them being around. They sell well. You know, we're doing. Oh yeah. Uh, we we. Seem to be putting them every. If it's cycle, on the website now, it sells well. What's that? <laughs> if it's on the website now, it sells <laughs> it's a good well. Metric. You want There's yes. your clue. You want that knife because it's on the website. Everyone wants Very this. <laughs> Anybody else have anything to add to the small or large? And yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, go. On. You cannot mention them two knives without mentioning our biggest cheerleader. That would be Slade Tulip. Oh yeah, yeah. AC Slade Slater is. on the pot house. Right on. It's right in his signature. Do you <laughs> own a do Northern that. Hunter? Yeah, and so some guys who are new thought that he was just saying, "Hey, psst, hey, you own one of these?" 
Yeah. Not that it's in his signature for everyone to read. And I go, no, I don't have one. Why, why should I have one? I think he may <laughs> have one of anything we ever did in steels and blades. Oh, shade. good chance. He definitely has every yeah. northern and hunter. Hunters. I know he has some really he also custom. He has the only northern boards. hunter XL in existence. Oh, oh yeah. he got drawn for that the one year or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was he, he lucked out on that one because, yeah. That was cool stuff. If someone else He's, had gotten it. They, he would have paid just about anything. He is to get definitely it. a cheerleader. We're gonna have to get a T-shirt made for the small northern. Yeah, yeah. That, I heart Slade. I heart Slade. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Thanks, Slade, for liking hey, it. So he will love that. Yeah, he, he, he would that's cool. That. We should cool. just get his signature on the shirt. Do you own a small northern home? There you Ask go. Me why. That's right. That's right. Put the Slade stash Ask on. Ask me there. how. Okay, next knife. What? Oh, what sorry. if they wanted to say? Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Anybody else want to say anything about small north or small or Larry went. Aww. Next knife. Okay. Well, next one up is the Overland Machete. Oh, yeah. Why the Overland Machete? No, you got to let Mike go first. I'm going to no. let Mike go first. He had a big part on that one. We, so, uh, Mike, why don't you go ahead and start? We had had many a conversation about the fact that we wanted to do something for the Overland community that was a bigger knife that could move trees or uh, clear the path if you got a flat tire and we wanted an axe replacement because everybody who overlands always has an axe on the side of their car and nobody yep. knows how to use them safely and <laughs> some <we do>. just <laughs> thought it was a good option and we took the genesis handle that we all know and love and we kind of um, morphed it into the old military bigger. bolos which uh, just were great all it's around. Almost, if, if you sharpen mm -hmm. both sides, it'd be a gladi gladius, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. kind of? um, it it's got that sort of reverse it's taper uh, thing going on, so not so much, but it would it's be like, no, nope, not, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Sorry, now that you've mentioned it. I tried to tie Glad you brought that up and no wasted our time. You left me no yeah. room to bring that around. <laughs> that was dumb, LT. <laughs> right on. Anyway, in my mind it does, but yeah, whatever. Oh, it's a little spear point-esque. Yeah. You could. Spear point ask. I was more condescending than what I said. No, it's not. <laughs> Whatever. The eye roll nail is what nailed it. You know, spear you're fine out there. It's spear point ask, yeah. <laughs> so Mike's right though, it was uh we wanted to pull that together. And this now for you guys who are going overlanding, isn't that so overdone? Well, back then it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> That's right. And for those it of you that cool. don't know what overlanding is, it's car camping in the woods. <laughs> wow, he gets to go on the next trip, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm sorry, did your Jeep get I'm stuck on that speed bump? Wow. No. Wow. Things are getting heated up. Wait, 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 wait. Is that, is that an inaccurate Ouch. definition? No, I What'd you car camping so in the woods? Yeah, I guess he nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly there more involved. You go. The truth yes. will set but, you free, boys. But, but you get to outfit your truck with things. That, I didn't say it was bad. That your wife I just doesn't said approve that's of. What it was. You, to put a lot of expensive stuff on there that you. I never said it wasn't cool. Sometimes use. Right? I use everything that's on the Jeep for something. Paperwork. Let's not get into that. Let's wow. move on. <laughs> I didn't say I used it all all the time, but something. This is the last time you used it. You can't, no, it's not. <laughs> are you kidding me? I know I'm going to get blamed for this. Even though this all you had to do oh. was define what overlanding hey, was. I don't Calm even have down. one anymore. So Y'all are sensitive. Anyhow. <laughs> so the, the machete came out of that, and Mike tried finding that tool that could clear brush and do those things quickly and easily. And we've been, man, blessed with sales on that. It's been fantastic. And it is quietly morphed into probably my most favorite tool that we make. You have yeah. the only AABL one, I think, in existence, I right? do. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that I would ever go car camping without it, Nick. Can't you mean camping in the in woods, woods in a with, car. Your vehicle. with your car? <laughs> is that a and song? And your equipment? It sounds <laughs> it like that's a song. should be. Or, well, you're, yeah. a, you're a singer person. So, you do but I, 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 I like my machete, and I, I would take it just about anywhere. Yeah, I have There's five. No doubt. <laughs> five. There you go. Five. Mine rides in my Jeep, so that if I do <laughs> quickly right. need to car camp in the woods, <laughs> that's good. There, that's good. Wow. Mine oh. also rides in the back seat so of my Unneverlandy Tundra, so I have that going for me. <laughs> my street tire truck. <laughs> now that's a that's good. All right, anybody have anything else on the Overland Machete? 
No, we're good. Um, There's, I mean, we have a lot to say, but Scott's got something else. I do, I do. Because they are... I'm Quickie just, story. Only because ahead, I... Say it. Story. Say say it. it. Come on. Quickie story. Say wow. it. Quickie story. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Since I like usually um, like sharpen <laughs> so. most or all of them, I'll tell you this: they're ten seventy five, and there's no grind, and then a secondary edge. It's just a large convex sharpened edge, like and a they get scandy, sort of, sort of, yeah, sort of, kind of. When we relative. step through all of the machines in the belt, just a few here, and get to the final point, they will for sure. Shave hair, slice the weight of it will slice right through a piece of paper. <clears throat> they are w- wicked sharp. Yeah, wicked sharp. And I like very that. easy to sharpen because they are tense. Yeah, the way they are. Easen? Right. What's the e- e- easy? Easy. easy. So the easy sharpening lesson so will be. We'll put that on YouTube, you and Mike will easy <laughs> and sharpen for you. Your machete sharper. And they come in Kinex or leather. The machete is riled up today. That's very good. And well, here's what's funny: is the machete today on the pout house is the throwback. I was Thursday. just going to say. Were you going to say it? It's uh, hot yeah, off the grinder Thursday, and <clears throat> as soon as you hear this podcast, this machete will be long oh, gone, gone, mailed yeah. to its new owner, because I was supposed to pull a name 26 minutes ago for that. Why did you just look at your bicep? He'll sharpen it easily. <laughs> My large bicep was in the way of my G shock. By the way, your bicep, you're watching your bicep, skinny guy. <laughs> because it fits. Weird. I know. Anyway, right, go we made a custom machete with a bunch of different stamps in it the key stamp, the house stamp, the long signature logo stamp, custom handles. And last count, 50 guys wanted. A chance at this that, yeah. machete. And you didn't even want to make that knife, you silly boy. I tried making it three times. It wasn't coming out Yeah, right. and then you said, I'm not making this knife. So I <laughs> That's right. I yeah. threw it in the back of my Oh, bed. it looks great. It's awesome. It it's got fantastic. stamps all over it. It's, yeah. it's, it's killer. Whoever gets it is going to be loving that one. Oh, yeah. Yep. Right on. Uh, just throwing this out there because I saw the post. Harley 59. If he wins it, he wanted to mine it to the handlebar of his Harley. <laughs> Yes, please. <laughs> like For quick deployment. Like, oh, with kind of. Uh, so he okay. can <laughs> motorcycle like camp in the woods, Nick. Nice. It's over that's motoring yeah. or cycling I, I landing. It is also over landing. Over landing. <laughs> over landing. Yeah, that is cool. Y'all you know, there there is no way we're going to be able to finish because we're running. Well, we'll just have to do we a covered, part two. Well, well, we did. We but did we never do we, part twos, Nick. Or part three. Well, maybe it'll even be a ten. Why don't we do part two? He said that last time. You did. So you did. what I think no, we ought to do is I think we should cut and run. Let's uh, see, what did <laughs> but I'll see what you did there. No. See what you did there. Your humor is very the, pointed. <laughs> oh, Y'all are sharp, sharp yeah, on yeah, the ball. Me. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll stop right here and we'll we'll go on to the next one because we want to color the cover the dealer exclusives too. There's just too much to and talk the rest about of each our. Night. Offerings on oh, yeah, website. We, we still missed four knives that we need to cover. Yep, yep, yep. So yep. we're going to get back into that. So there is going to be a part two. And for those of you dun, in dun, Portugal dun. who have made us number 10, can we be number nine? Can you can you yeah. bring us up to number nine? Tell your and, your four friends, go down to the game. And, and, and hey, we you, might, we might you guys in the U.S., <laughs> just listen multiple times. That'll it get our rank. That way. It doesn't work? Yeah. Well, how does it work? Each unique listener counts. Well, just Watch read. it on your desktop. Yeah, Watch it on your phone. I mean, listen to it on your phone. Use but your iPad. I want to be the same I, user, people. Calm down. I want, I want to get like number one in the U.S. for one week. But just one week. I think Joe you, Rogan. You want to be beat Joe Rogan at something? We oh, can send wow. Joe Rogan a machete. Well, and we'll be no, ready to go. Are we in the same category? Well, no. Him and Elon Musk. You're talking are categories, and you're talking number one. I'm sorry. I meant I, I meant category. I didn't yes. mean in the world. Which we're we'll number, take. We're in the top ten in leisure. No to either one. What is it? Leisure. Okay, so our category is called leisure. Not if we okay. could get number one in the U.S. in leisure, is that like laser? Use your air quotes. Similar. There you go. In leisure, okay. we'll I need Logan excited. on the next episode. And then we were <laughs> so we were pretty high in jokes. in Italy for a while. And Belgium, we Belgium. were ranked for a little while. Italy yeah. So and come on, guys, get us back up here in the top ten. Let's go. So we're gonna have to uh, get out of here on this particular one. We end up with the overland machete. I'm gonna put air quotes beside of it so that I know where we go next time. And we will be back with a part two. Remember, the podcast is always brought to you by. LT Wright Knives and Woods Monkey and all the guys sitting at this table I know are very thankful that you guys like our stuff and continue to keep us relevant in the world of sharp things out there. What do you got to say? 
catch you on the next one. That would be part two. Scooter here, man, on the inside. I'll see you later. I guess I'll see you all in part two. <laughs> wow. Stay tuned for Tyler's amazing commentary <laughs> in episode two. In episode two, we're going to make him talk so much longer. We'll be back. Oh, look at that. I'd say bye, but I guess I'll see you in part two. Part two. We should really record it soon because we'll forget. <laughs> we're going to have to get this back. Well, as soon as we're done with this cycle, we got it. Yeah. Guys, thank you very much for listening to The Shack. And you can find The Shack anywhere. You this find day. podcasts. Yeah, you can find it. <laughs> I think you know, listen I, to it I there. I think we've been over this already. Right on. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, thanks for all the support. God bless you. We'll talk to you again. See you. Bye. Bye.